we want to do the same fade-in for all tracks. So you have two options to do this. Either you add another set effect block for each track, so you have four set effect lines, or you can use a for loop, which is good because you need to use at least one for loop in your assignment. So let's see what it looks like. Go to Control Flow and select the first block, which is a for loop. It starts with four. So what the for loop is going to do is it's going to take the instruction that's here and is going to repeat it several times. In our case, we want to repeat the instruction fade in, which is this set effect line. We want to repeat it from track one through four. So this i here is a variable that we are creating for the for loop. So we are going to call it track because we want to add the effect for each track. And we want it to go from track number one up to four. And instead of printing hello, so this would print hello in the console every time. So let me delete this. Um, we are going to add our set effect line. So take your set effect block and add it inside your for loop. And now here we have this one here, which is our track number. Because we want it to add a fade in in each track, instead of writing one or two or three, we are going to write in track, which is our variable here for the for loop. When the computer goes over the loop, it's first going to set the track at one. So this means you have your set effect on track number one with the fade in. Then it's going to go back and track is going to be equal to two. And so this is going to make a fade in for your track number two. Same thing for track number three and same thing for track number four. And when you run the code, you can see that you have your set effect lines for each track. So see track number two, track number three. But we don't have a fade in effect for your track number four. This is something that you have to be careful with. In for loops in Python, the second number here is not included. So it's going, the for loop is going to stop before track number four is going to go over track number one, two, and three only. So if we want to fade in for our track number four, we have to change the range from one to five instead of one to four. And let's see what this does. See, it goes up to track number four with our fade in. So this is one way of using a for loop. And let's see what this looks like in text mode. So you have your for track, track is your variable, in range one through five. And then there is this indentation here, which is a little space, and you have your set effect function with track, so it's going to be equal to one, two, three, and then four. Volume, which is your effect. Gain, which is the parameter that you're changing. Minus 60 is the value of your parameter at the beginning, so minus 60 decibels, like here. It's minus 60 at measure 1 and 0 at measure 2. And there you go, you have your for loop and your fade in. What you can try to do is also do a fade out. So go from gain equals zero, and at your last measure, you want your volume to be equal to minus 60 decibels.